In this demo, we'll show how to load several different STL models, which will be individual parts to be printed in different materials and then merged to create a final product. Here we've got both a white and a black section of a vase in STL format. The STL format is typical to be sent to a 3D printer. Here we can choose the STL interface to have individual options for each file. Then on the Visual Effects tab, we can select both diffuse and specular characteristics for each individual part. For instance, we can choose a uh, light color, uh, perhaps near white, for the white section of the material, and then choose a highlight color, maybe a golden highlight. And then on the black section, we'll choose an alternative color uh, which will contrast with that fairly dark color in this case and also set another specular term on that to show some highlights. Now that we've got those set we can merge those into the same PDF to see how they look as a final composite. Now by converting we can load both of these together merge them into the same scene and then look at the result in a PDF preview. Here we have our vase configured so we can see both sections merge together in the final part. And opening the model tree, we can see that each of these parts are individually identified through their individual geometry that are printed and then merged in a final assembly. This gives a good way to preview how multi-part 3D printed objects and different materials can look in the final design.